Imagine having no control over the biggest day of your life, your wedding day. This isn't a joke, this is our lives. Or worse, that all control has been given to your mother. Or even more outrageous, your mother-in-law. Oh God. This is Gina Sole, wedding planner extraordinaire. I love it, I love it. She creates stunning weddings for her clients. I need 500 by Friday. Her standards are high, and she demands and gets the best for her client's big day. Meet Kevin and Sandra. They're going to have to deal with Gina's little twist. You have to hand over full control of your wedding to one of your mothers. That I like to be the lead dog. I'm gonna fight to not have my daughter contained on her wedding day. Will this be the wedding of their dreams or a total nightmare? Tradition, tradition, tradition. I'm done. This woman is relentless. May the best mom win. Kevin and Sandra are the very essence of a dynamic duo in love. She's very hot. That's right. Yes. Super hot. Yes. Keep going. A little too hot for me. <laughs> Initially. So Initially. <laughs> Kev Z's tuck in time. Every night before I go to sleep, he tucks me in. Don't forget my feet. OK. Thanks, honey. She's my little Jewish princess. Perfect. Love you. Me too. I found this incredible gem on web dating website for Jewish people. <laughs> and uh, when I saw her, I was just like, she's the one. That's so sweet. Aw. Your favorite DJ, Sandra, is getting married. And you want to know something? Kevin better be home right now cleaning those dishes. Kevin? I am not the controlling wife type. This is a figment of his imagination. All right. I proposed to Sandra. We were playing rummy cue with her, her grandmother and her dad. I knew that if I put the, the ring inside the chocolate pastry that she couldn't say no because she loves chocolate. She went to take a bite out of it and almost ate the ring in, in the process. <laughs> Kevin and Sandra want to get married, but they have no time to plan the wedding because they're always on the go. I have a computer consulting business. I do work at home. I have my own satellite radio show across Canada and the US, and it's going really great. What's up, you sexy boys? You're listening to The Sandra Z Show. And I'm doing my PhD, so I'm like super busy. Too busy to plan my own wedding. I do not trust Kevin to plan the wedding. In your face. If Kevin planned the wedding, it would be robots and keyboards. Kevin will plan a computer robot wedding. <laughs> Great. Well, no matter how it computes, Sandra and Kevin's nuptials will be nixed without Gina's help. Hi, Sandra. Hi. I can make their wedding happen, but they have to agree to my rules. We need somebody to make it happen. We need yeah. some help. Totally. But there is one condition. Not a big one on conditions. Yeah. What's the condition? You have to hand over full control of your wedding, and I mean everything the wedding decor, the wedding dress, the menu, to one of your mothers. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah. I need control. Total control. Total control. It's hard for me. I know. You wouldn't be able to control anything, but your wedding day would happen, and fast. Maybe we should just try and go for it. I don't, I don't know what yeah, else to do. Yeah, it's less headache for us. Yeah, and I have no time. Sandra and Kevin, I need your answer now. Yes. Yes. Yes? Yes. OK. OK. Great. Let's get married. Let's do awesome. it. Okay. Okay. OK. They are totally psyched about this wedding. At first, a little hesitant, but I think they signed on pretty quickly. And I think that we're going to be able to deliver. My mom's got a shot. I think her mom's got a shot. It's, it's a toss up. It's a toss up. Yeah. It really is. Bring on the moms. Let's do this. I love this. Sandra's mom is all about glamour, big fun, and flaunting it all. I'm an older single woman who loves dating, who loves life. I love dancing. I love music. <laughs> it's all about the pleasure and the freedom. This is my kind of dress. My mom is the Hungarian rebel. Vigyázzatok nagyon magatokra, mert férfiak jövök táncolok. She's pretty, you know, headstrong. Aggie, she's scared. I'm a little afraid of her. She's scary? Really? Kevin's mom, Shirley Ann, is all about maintaining tradition and keeping the faith. 
being Jewish has a big responsibility and can be a real challenge. My mom goes to synagogue almost every day. All her friends are from synagogue. She pretty much is there when the sun comes up. Harvey and I have been married almost 50 years. Good job, honey. The big Bible. Harvey and I are really thrilled that Kevin is marrying somebody in the Jewish faith. Family is the key to Judaism. Family is most important. These moms have nothing at all in common. Aggie's a tough customer. Oh, now we're talking. Aggie's nature happens to be more wild, more out there. Totally different lifestyles. I am an outsider. I think things a little calmer. I am Jewish and it means a lot to me, but I'm not a practicing Jew. My background is not Hungarian, and I think Hungarians are great, but we're very, very different. So on one hand, I've got my controlling mother, and on the other hand, I've got my mother-in-law-to-be, and on the other side, I have Sandra. So uh, I guess she's in good company. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> With such conflicting opinions, this wedding has two outcomes, Mazel tov or called off. Overall, we want it to be like just one big party. <laughs> As a small, intimate wedding. Red carpet, paparazzi. Super grandiose, amaze balls, incredible. I would like to see the wedding happen in a synagogue. I don't want to have it in a synagogue. Imperative that the food is kosher. A lot of cakes, a lot of chocolate, a lot of dessert. A violin, a harp, a flute. Oh, oh. Elegant. Lots of dancing, champagne flowing. What I really would not like to see in the wedding is wild dancing, <laughs> low-cut dresses. Kevin is marrying Sandra, but he's also marrying her boobs. Her boobs have to show. And then there's Kevin's opinion. I think there has to be a, a traditional element. My daughter is like an eagle, and it would be like putting an eagle in a cage. With so many conflicting ideas, it's time for Gina to lay down some rules. Moms, you each have 48 hours to put together your plan for the ideal wedding. Only one mom's vision will be chosen. And this part is key. The losing mom has to be the winning mom's assistant. So there will only be one winner. Moms, one of you will lose. I like to be the lead dog. I know I'm going to win. I'm going to run the show. Well, may the best mom win. Coming up with an inspired wedding vision in just 48 hours is going to be the ultimate test for these moms. And whatever decisions Sandra and Kevin make, they're going to have to live with this for the rest of their lives. Shirley Ann, you may stand for tradition and faith, but never underestimate a mother who wants to party. Aggie, you may be a sassy modern mama, but remember, tradition reigns supreme. Each mom has just 48 hours to find items that explain their wedding vision. I'm looking for ideas for a Hollywood-style wedding. There is red carpet, like a roll of red carpet. Red carpet! If my mom throws the wedding, I believe it's going to be a big party. <laughs> All right. That is beautiful. If my mom would have it her way, we'd be having the wedding in a synagogue. Yeah, for sure. This is an original. Not necessarily our cup of tea. Love to get this for Sandra. That's very pretty, too. Something beautiful, like the glass what you break under the chuppah. Oh, it's a great idea. Wonderful. I want this wedding to be glitzy, glamorous, super Hollywood, and totally out there. Time is getting late, and there's so many things to do. And for the first time, I'm really feeling the pressure. Hi, Gina. It's time for the moms to wow Gina with their chutzpah. OK, Shirley Ann, what is your vision? Jewish, traditional, brunch, synagogue wedding. A glamorous Hollywood party wedding. Where would the ceremony and the reception be? A big warehouse, a modern warehouse. What are these? Hamantaschen. There must be kosher food. OK. It's non-kosher for me. I would love to see a violin. Red carpet, paparazzi. Pose for me, now. There, you go. Candles, we will have. Flame helps bring us closer to the Almighty. Glitter everywhere, all over the tables. OK. I want a big, sweet table. Chocolate and candies in all colors. 
My daughter is all about sweets. We need to have sesame crusted salmon. It's out of this world. I like salmon. Beautiful centerpiece, nice gold color. Take a look at this calla lily. And now, is that not beautiful? They are beautiful. Elegant. We have to have a special prayer book to be able to connect with the Almighty. Booze or no booze? We could have wine at a few tables. Oh, oh there you go. L'chaim. <laughs> My favorite is when the groom steps on the glass and everybody else muzzle talk. How about your son-in-law? Is he OK with this such a dramatic theme? I think he would do if she wants it. OK. Well, the next step is to pitch it to the couple. I'm putting my faith in you because this is really the best way to do it. This is a classic case of two very strong moms with two very clear ideas of how they want their kids to be married. Maintaining the traditions, I think it's really important. I do not want my daughter to be stuck at a synagogue for the wedding. I, I don't want to disappoint my mom or Aggie. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Choosing between the two moms is giving our groom a major moral meltdown. I'm torn between my mom wanting a traditional wedding at a synagogue and um, my fiance who wants to have a big party. This is about the wedding again. God bless uh, Jewish women. Uh, they have a reputation at times for being a little forceful. So I really feel for Kevin. He's trapped in this maze. I mean, it's a nightmare. What do you want? I, I think I want a more traditional wedding. I think so, yeah. I think I'm in my mom's camp. What do you think I should do? Come on, Kevin. You had your bar mitzvah in this very room. You're a proud Jew, aren't you? Right. Tell your fiance. This is who you are. This is your wedding. All right. Why can't you just have the ceremony the way you want it? OK. With a chuppah? Yeah. With kosher food? And the party the way your fiance wants it? Then there's no doubt in my mind that this is going to work out. It was good to talk to the rabbi. It, was, uh, it helped give me some clarity. I know what I want now. I'm confident. I think that Kevin is going to get uh, completely attacked by these women he will not be able to stand up against them. This is actually a wonderful primer uh, to what being married is going to be like. Gina will now unveil the mom's visions to the couple. One mom will win, the other will be the assistant. Hi, good to see you. Come on in. And little do they know that their mothers will be watching and hearing everything they say from a secret hiding place. Time for Kevin to man up. These presentations represent the most important day of your life. You have to decide which one best represents you. But remember, you'll also be choosing a mother. Hard thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it'll be tough. Are you ready to see what your wedding could be? Yes. Let's do it. Wow, that's amazing. Oh my god. I love it. Yellow, gray, fun, spunky. She's right. Aggie's vision, I knew it, is a glitzy, modern Hollywood wedding. Perfect. Right. The wedding will take place in a hip warehouse. She wants a DJ, a late party. Guests will arrive on the red carpet. All of the guests will have their picture taken by paparazzi. The colors, deep silvers, golds, lots and lots of liquor. Aggie does not want kosher food at this wedding. The food has to be kosher, and he understands it. But it's not that, that really traditional, oh, traditional Who said scent. anything about traditional? All right, that's it. The wedding dress. Sexy, revealing. Perfect. Can I, can I just, do you mind? Just two seconds. So this thing, I'm not loving this thing. I think if this was perfect, they would have our pictures, like, juxtaposed. That would be just perfect. Because really, I mean, this is not us. I mean, we're, we're much cuter than this. Yes. All right, guys. Yeah. Let's step back and let me show you presentation number two. OK. Well, let's do that. Uh... Whoa. Ouch. That's more like it. Cornucopia of disaster. Shirley Ann's vision is a Jewish synagogue brunch wedding. Oh, my god. Since this is a brunch, coffee and tea will be served. There will be wine on the tables. There will be all kosher food at this wedding. No wedding cake? No wedding cake. I have never seen that. A wedding Why without a cake. Why would you need a cake? What's the importance of a cake? The wedding is the importance. It's symbolic. 
there will be live classical music at this wedding. Yeah. We're going to be dancing to a violin, a harp, and a clarinet. It's going to be elegant. Observing the traditional elements of the Jewish wedding, Kevin, you would be breaking the glass at the end of the ceremony. Mazel tov. The dress, something lace, traditional, and long sleeve. Great, so I can sweat and not look good at the same time. I think it works. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, it does No, it doesn't work. work. Sandra, be honest, what do you love about this presentation? Eh. That's my answer. This is kosher. Your mom's vision isn't. And at least my mom's no. vision has style no. and grace Maybe and creativity. It and it's kosher. It works. Take a few minutes. I'll be back to get your decision. Good luck. Shirley Ann and Aggie are cut off while Kevin and Sandra decide who will be the wedding winner. This is amazing. This is creative. Look, and this is who died. No. My mom worked really hard on this. I get that, but why should we go with it? Because your mom said you to know go with it? The bottom line is it's kosher. One bottle of wine per table. That means everybody gets a little sippy cup. Look at this, look at this vision. It looks, looks like good. a lot of fun, but there's no tradition, there's nothing Jewish about it. You're gonna alienate like half of your family. This is hedonism at its best. Hedonism. Yeah. I'm in love with this. this is, it's us. It's gotta be kosher. You have to think about us, because at the end of the day, our parents are not sleeping in our bed. I'm not gonna disappoint my mom. Have you made your decision? Yes. Yeah. yeah. We are going with? Don't tell me. Tell your moms. <gasps> Whoa. Hi. Oh, God. Your moms have been backstage listening to all of your comments. Great. You're in trouble. Tell your moms who you've decided on. Kevin, I think you should um, break the news to the moms. Uh, I, I can't do it. I okay, can't. I'll do it. So, this was a really hard decision. But we came to the conclusion that we are gonna go with... You, Mumsies. All right! Oh, no! Oh, no! I'm not gonna be sorry. I love you. Oh, if Shirley Ann would have won, it would have been the most boring wedding in history. I tried for you. He did try. You did a fantastic yeah. job. We love you very much. I yeah, we do. Very hard. My vision was elegant. Consolation, oh, hunk. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. This is a Hollywood premiere production. It is not a wedding. They may as well be married in a civil ceremony. I'm going to push to include many of the elements of my vision. We weren't rejecting the fact that it was Jewish. We were rejecting the fact that it was a brunch. Your smelled the best. And it looks the best. Look at these treats. I wouldn't be surprised if we show up at our wedding and we see Shirley Ann's vision in place of my mom's vision. This woman is relentless. Your mom won, but the war's not over. Congratulations, Aggie. Thank you very much. Shirley Ann, you're going to be Aggie's wedding assistant. You'll be helping her pull her vision together. We've got one week to plan this yes. wedding. Let's get to work. All right. Shirley Ann is not willing to bend on anything. We really need to get her on board and let her know that she cannot push her vision onto Aggie's side. We've got to make it smashing. We've got to make it terrific and wonderful. My vision was the right vision. Good luck. With less than a week till they walk down the aisle, it's time to embark on Sandra's largest concern of the day the dress. She's given full control over to Aggie. Whatever dress Aggie chooses, Sandra will be wearing that on her wedding day. Take a look at this gorgeous dress with Aggie, all this handy these handy These dresses are not right. Oh, come on. Why are we look even at here? This gorgeous piece. Not and the Sandra right would look so gorgeous with a dress with long sleeves and a high neck and lace, you know, peau de soie. I need you to hold it. They're glitzy. There's Beautiful. No style. Maybe I can give you enough dresses to cover up your face. Oh. I feel really uncomfortable with Aggie being so domineering and pushy. And oh my her. God. I think this is gonna look beautiful. Aggie. This is really, really nice. These are awful. And that's it. Let her try it on. It's gonna look good on her. You'll see. I was getting really aggravated. Just come with I me. I didn't even want to be your assistant. I wish I could see myself because I probably look so hot. Every bride gets to see their dress before the day, so 
I'm a little bit uh, worried. Gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? No. Oh, it's not the right dress. No. It's absolutely gorgeous. Perfect on you. It's embarrassing. She's exposed. Please. She needs to be covered. They could fix it by custom making the top. You don't need any cover up. Can you come over here for a minute? Is it possible that you could custom design the top? We might be able to do like a, a custom neckline for her. Yes. And well, excuse me, it doesn't matter. First of all, you're my assistant. Sandra does not need to be covered up. Please take Sandra and try on the next okay. dress. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Stunning. Stunning. You look absolutely gorgeous. This is so beautiful. You look absolutely stunning. Thanks, Marie. You are so beautiful. You get me so emotional. She's falling out. This is a big mistake. Don't even go there. It has to be adjusted, but I think this is the one center. Adjust it I so would, that it I would comes vote up for to this. the neck. No, not closing it up. This has to be adjusted, but the wedding is in six days. Can it be done? That's cutting it really close. Um, you know, it can't be done here, but it could be sent to New York. It would be possible. The dress not being here for repair or, or adjustment, it's very, very difficult because anything can go wrong. Do me a Thank favor and ask much. when you're on the phone if they can do long sleeves and cover you're up. You're not running the show. This is the dress. This is what's going to happen. Aggie keeps shutting me down. I'm not happy. So far, Aggie's vision for the wedding has Shirley Ann. Red carpet. I love this. Seeing red. This is what exactly we needed. What take do you a need look, this take for? A look. What? What's it for? It's the red carpet for outside. You're talking about a wedding. It's going to be fantastic. You can have the people coming out of the limousine, and they step on it, and they feel like a million dollars with Aggie. the paparazzi right there. This is a wedding. This is not a theater premiere. This, this doesn't make it a premiere. It makes it a wedding. It should be sophisticated. It should be elegant. This is elegant. What is it not elegant? This a red carpet flashy. with a beautiful this oh, is glitzy. It, it, it's not glitzy. a wedding. What's wrong with glitzy? Red carpets, velvet ropes. Give me a break. It's not necessary. You become a paparazzi. See, I, let me I'm see. not a paparazzi. Why not? Aggie. She's so negative. Aggie, I don't get it. It's getting a little more and more frustrating. Walk I'm it. not coming in here. The focus should be on the needs of the wedding itself. A holy matrimony, the invitations, buying shoes for the grandchildren, the important things. Help me to grab it. Oh, my God. Who needs this? Ugh. First, I'm carrying heavy dresses, and now a heavy carpet. This is not supposed to be my role. This is so heavy. I know. Oh, come on, come You're on. walking too fast. Just put it in here. <laughs> All right. This is not necessary. Done. The next thing is the venue. Hopefully, synagogue pushing Shirley Ann will approve. What is this place? Where are we? We're supposed to be looking at a venue for a wedding. This is a venue for the wedding. No, 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 no. You I can't believe you can't even come in it's and take a, a look synagogue. at it. It's not a synagogue. You have to have a nice Jewish wedding in a nice synagogue. Just come I'll with be in me the car. and just take a you look. You go in. I'll be in the car. OK, see you later. I'm feeling very frustrated. This is not a birthday party. She doesn't seem to have room to understand what's important to me. At this point, I don't know what to do with her. Hmm. Wow, this is fabulous. Wow. I love it. Fabulous. All I know right now that this is the perfect venue. This is it. This is perfect. Aggie, I came in to tell you, if you are determined to have the wedding here, then I'm out. There's no way I'm going to have a wedding in a warehouse. It should be in a synagogue. Take a look no at it. You don't even way. look at I'm the place. Be, I'm not being part of a wedding. This I'm... is your son's wedding. How can exactly. you be that part of it? Exactly. It and build be anything at you want. least a synagogue. Always going your way. It's a tradition, tradition, tradition. I'm done. Stop being so stubborn. The wedding has to take place in six days. We don't have the time for argument, especially when we know it's the right place, when I know it's the right place. I feel totally left out, rejected. I meant what I said to Aggie, <sighs> that if things don't change, then I'm not going to be a part of this wedding. I will not come to this wedding. I don't know where to go from here. I just don't know. I just absolutely don't know. I need Gina.
With only two days before the wedding, it's time for Gina to attempt to salvage the mother's relationship. They're not getting along at all. Something has to be done. Thanks for meeting me here. Hi, Gina. Okay. How's it going? Uh, it's going. It's just not happening. Shirley Ann is blocking my way, and, and she has so much negative energy, and I only have two days. Right. It just doesn't look like the wedding is going to happen at all. It's not OK that you guys aren't talking. It's not OK that you guys aren't working together. We need to do this, or this wedding isn't going to happen. Aggie, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to give Shirley Ann a few things that were in her vision. But that's not what the kids wanted. Aggie, it's the only way that you two are going to move forward. First, we will not change the venue, but the children will marry under a chuppah. That, that would make a huge difference. It's traditional, it's Jewish, and it'll work. We will give you the chuppah. Having the wedding canopy is absolutely paramount. Thank you. The other is Shirley Ann. You will now be in charge of the menu. What? The groom's side won't come to the wedding if it's not kosher food. So we have to make this work. I wanted you to meet me here just to taste the food. Keep an open I, mind. I, I think you're going to like it. Do this for the kids, moms. No, OK? I have you to and try. Come on. Oh, let's roll. It looks so nice. Oh, my. It smells so good. It does. Aggie has to have the venue. It's important for her vision. But we can make the venue Shirley Ann friendly. These are the best courses, the best kosher food options that they have right. to choose a menu. OK. Let's start with the salad course. OK. Butternut squash pecan salad. Or we have the fennel salad here. So dig in. That's Let's amazing. see. Amazing. Aggie, cut. No, no. Cut. You, 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 have you it. like it. It's OK. You have it. You wouldn't know it's kosher. Whatever. Do it. Mm. Out of the swirl, okay. I definitely choose the pecan butternut. It is so good. All right. Entrees. We have the herb crusted chicken. <gasps> right. Or the chicken roulade. Mm. It's to die for. I think I'll go with the herb crusted chicken. Come, come. You have to come. come. No, please. Come. No. You no. have I, to I, come. I'm not interested. Thanks, thanks. Just you taste it, taste choose it. whatever. Dessert. We have caramel pecan tart. Oh. Right. Or a fruit flan. Wow. Amazing. Mmm. The shudders and the taste, I have to tell you, it's like being in heaven. Really, it's good. So we have a menu. We're good to go. OK. We will have the butternut squash pecan salad. Wonderful. The herb crusted chicken. Absolutely. And the pecan tart. Delightful. All kosher. Thank you, Gina, so much for making the arrangements. You're the greatest. You're the best. Thank you so much. It's a kosher hug. I'm still not happy about the venue, the warehouse. I really feel a synagogue would have been the best venue. However, I'm willing to go along with this. I'm frustrated because I think Gina is siding with Shirley Ann. Looks like we are going kosher food. It looks like we're getting a chupa at the warehouse. I care about this wedding. I can't have it fail for Sandra. OK, girls, let's get this wedding going. Let's get this wedding going for sure. We have a menu, we have a venue, we have so much more to do. If they're not on the same page, we're going to have a very unhappy bride and groom. With stress levels through the roof and the clock running out, Kevin and Sandra get a visit from Gina. They don't really know what's going on, so I think that they're starting to get really nervous. How are you guys feeling? Totally stressed out. Not good. Not good. Not good? I'm totally regretting doing this. We don't know what's going on. We heard our mothers are fighting. We don't know anything. Like, it would be nice if you can just tell us, at least tell us, like, a little bit. Like, I don't have a wedding dress. I don't know what's going on. Well, yeah. the dress. Your brother has the dress. The dress is coming from New York. So he is bringing it here the morning of the wedding. And I know it's two days before the wedding, and, you know. And that's why I'm freaking out. Yeah, that's scary. Because it's, like, we don't know. If to not have gonna, any control over it. Yeah, it's yeah, going to, it's going it might good. blow up in our faces. And we have 200, 250 people coming. More than that now. More, more than, than that. that. More. It's three, close to 300. You know, this isn't a joke. This is our lives. I, I It's stressful. Yeah. I mean, you guys signed on to this, and you've lost all control of your wedding. And I get that. Yeah. But I'm working for you. It's two days before the wedding. You should be relaxing. Just enjoy each other. This wedding will be flawless. I hope so. I hope so. We'll see. Trust me, guys. Mm. While the moms scramble to get the wedding planned, Gina sends Sandra for some much needed R&R before the wedding rehearsal. Oh, wow. Oh my god, I'm so in heaven right now. I feel so great. I'd like to be like this every day.
Mom? Hi. Yes, yes, honey. What's happening? I'm very sick, sweetheart. I can't make it tonight for the rehearsal. What am I supposed to do now? I, I don't know what you can do about this. I may not make it to the wedding tomorrow. <sighs> I'm just, like, praying and hoping that she's going to be there tomorrow, because how am I going to have a wedding without my mom? I never imagined I would be this stressed out at this point. If you're not there, tomorrow we are gonna walk in to a nightmare. Whether Aggie is sick or just doesn't want to deal with Shirley Ann getting her way, Kevin has no idea what's about to happen. Being the gentleman I am, I brought Sandra some some sweets, some snacks. Hold on Sweetie. a second. Hold on. Let me let me call you back, okay? I just walked into uh, a landmine. What's the problem? My mom is sick. What? Now your mom has to take over. And if your mom changes my mom's vision, you are going to have one unhappy bride on your hands. And really? I don't think you want that. What are you going to do You're about joking it? joking me, I'm right? not going to have your mom start taking over. If your mom fails. My mom's not going to fail. Really? Put that into writing. What the hell? My mom, my mom's going to step in like, like we need her to. She's good at that. I don't think you realize the, the, the total problem here that I'm having. I am so stressed out at this point. It's the day before the wedding. What can uh -huh. my mom? Let me talk. It's the day before the wedding. What can my mom do? It's already emotion. This wedding is turning into a total disaster. You call your mom up now, and you tell her to follow my mom's vision. And if she doesn't, Kevin, it's on you. Sandra's not happy. I'm stressed out because I'm in the middle. I don't want to do this anymore. Kevin is totally driving me crazy. Don't even kiss me. If Shirley Ann takes control, I promise you she will not support my mom's vision. It will go completely haywire. This was supposed to be Aggie's time to shine. And she called me. She sounds sick and devastated. So I really want to make sure that we keep on track. And if she does show up tomorrow, that we deliver exactly what she wanted. With time not on her side, Gina builds the hoopa and works her magic to make sure Kevin and Sandra's big day is not destroyed. This looks better. I think we should even lose one chair. But her biggest challenge has yet to arrive. Shirley Ann. Hi, Gina. It's good to see you again. How are you? You know what? I have to say, uh, I really could not visualize a warehouse, but this is amazing. This is really very special. We have the hoopa started. Right? It's a nice start, right? Yes, abs yeah? absolutely. Where's Aggie? What Kim, happened? I'll be right with you. Yeah. Where's Shirley Ann, Aggie is sick. At this point, she doesn't even know if she's coming to the wedding. Oh, that would be terrible. Shirley Ann, I need you to step in and carry out Aggie's vision. But Aggie did win. So even though she's sick, yeah. I really, really need you to keep in mind that it is yeah. still her vision. We have no time. We have one day. Right. Could you carry this out? I'm going to stay with you. I need right. you to carry out her vision. Aggie's vision, sure. Sure, I can do that. It's for the kids, yes. All right, All right you're in charge. OK, so All right. can we take a look at the uh, chuppa? You go do that. All right. All right. Shirley Ann, yes. remember Aggie's vision. OK, I got okay. it, Aggie's vision. I'm trying to empower Shirley Ann at this point because we could use her help. But if Aggie and Sandra show up tomorrow and it's not exactly the vision that they wanted carried out, we're going to have a disaster. As Shirley Ann incorporates traditional Jewish prayer benchers on the tables and Kaddish goblets that signify joy and abundance, Gina is having second thoughts. Oh, God. I think I may have just created a monster. Hey, girls. This is going straight across? Yeah. That's fine. While Gina continues to prep the wedding venue, the rehearsal dinner is underway. And with Aggie still under the weather, Sandra steps in for some damage control. Um, I just want to make sure that you're you're following in my mom's vision. It's going to be magical. It's going to be beautiful. Let's see. I'm getting nervous. I hope so. It had better be my mom's vision tomorrow. I will be severely disappointed if I don't see my mom's vision. Just hours before the wedding, all our couple can do now is put on a brave face. So we would really like to thank everyone for coming. And we are going to have an amazing, amazing time tomorrow. There are a lot of surprises and secrets that I don't even know about. And thanks to Kevin, because without Kevin, we all wouldn't be here. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. To everybody, thank you. Thank you. On the outside, I'm smiling, like everything is great, everything's fantastic. And on the inside, everything is falling apart. 
My dress may not come tomorrow. My mom is sick, she may not come. Shirley Ann may destroy our vision. And I'm totally, totally, utterly freaking out. It's the big day for Sandra and Kevin, but Sandra is not a happy camper. My mom is not even here, she's still sick. My dress is in New York, because it got fitted there, and my brother's supposed to be bringing it up, and he's two hours late. And you don't have any backup dress or something no. to use. Oh my God, a disaster. I just don't even know what's gonna happen. I haven't seen the venue. I don't know what Shirley Ann's gonna pull out of a hat. I hope it's gonna be like my mom's vision. Oh my God, you make me so nervous, I'm gonna have a mini stroke. This is not the way my day should be. I didn't imagine this to come to this point. And I'm really honestly getting uh, at the point where I'm gonna explode. With just an hour before the wedding, Mom! Aggie oh, arrives at Sandra's to deliver some news. Are you feeling better? I don't really feel good, but I wouldn't miss this. Mm. I, I had to be here, I had to be here. Is the dress here? Mom, where is my dress? Well, Gabby has the dress. Gabby's Mom. bringing it. I'm so happy that you're here, but I need my dress now. Did you get no, it? No, I didn't. Gabby's not oh here Oh, my yet. God. I know he'll be here. Somebody's he's here. coming. He's Who's coming. Says... I'm sure he's coming. Oh, he's here. Oh, my Yay! God. All right. All right. <laughs> I was, like, so happy when I saw him running down the driveway. I was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm so happy. All right. I want to see it. I know. I know. I understand. It looks really good, actually. You ready? Yep. Relax. Hold on. Wait. <sighs> Open them. Oh my god. It looks good, right? Oh god, All right. It's great. Oh, I love it. I really feel like a princess. Oh, I'm Thanks, so Mom, glad. Please. It's amazing. I love I'm it. So I love pleased. it. I'm so pleased. Now that's a dress. Sandra is impressed with Aggie's choice of dress. Right, sweet. Now, hopefully, Aggie's impressed with Shirley Ann's touches to the venue. For me to take over and do everything, my goodness, I mean, the little books on the table and the pedals, I, I, it's just been amazing. This is beautiful, just perfect, wonderful. The fact that Aggie is sick, she just totally stepped in and she's been motoring through it. The Hollywood theme, it's getting there. Shirley Ann is respecting Aggie. She understands that this is her vision, but there are definitely parts of Shirley Ann that I'm seeing. Well, listen, yeah. let me take this over, okay. and you get ready for the ceremony. All right. Okay. Well, thank you. You look thank beautiful. You. Oh, thank All you. All right, get going. Yeah, let's put this on this right here. We just need two more. We've still got a ton to do. It's really all systems go. Aggie arrives at the venue all smiles, feeling a lot better, and is excited to see what Shirley Ann's done. Oh, hi. Oh my goodness, we have a star! Look at this! Wow, this is fabulous. Aggie, how are you feeling? Feeling a little better. Uh, yeah, and how do you like that everything? So far, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I love the star. And you look gorgeous. Look at your hair. Thank oh my you. goodness. With no time to lose, guests start filtering in and are greeted by the paparazzi. <laughs> With almost 300 guests in their seats, Gina takes one last look around and decides everything is good to go. Bring on our Hollywood duo. Hey. 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 I'm ready. As the moment approaches. Oh, don't draw blood. Shirley Ann has one last traditional surprise. I found for you a kittle, a, a white robe to wear. An item that represents holiness, purity, and is worn at all religious events. You think that you're comfortable wearing it for the ceremony? Sure. Oh, this is fabulous. Kevin, Kevin, come on, sweetie. Come. Thanks, Mom. Bye, Dolly. Mwah. No, not, not for right now. Traditional or not, it's time for the wedding. There's Kevin with his parents. And there's Shirley Ann putting on Kevin's kittle. But there's no sign of Sandra since she stormed off. Our bride has finally arrived and we couldn't have a more relieved groom.
You made it. Under the camp. <laughs> be thou my wife according to the law of Moses and Israel. I faithfully promise that I will be a true husband unto you. I will honor and cherish you, protect and support you, and provide all that is necessary for your due sustenance, even as it becomes a Jewish husband to do. The bride will now march around the groom seven times, accompanied by the mothers, symbolic of holiness. Behold, you are consecrated to me with this ring according to the law of Moshe and Israel. I love you. Sandra and Kevin, who have now entered into the holy covenant of marriage, that it be founded upon love, understanding, mutual helpfulness, and respect. And they're hitched. <laughs> I'm still taking it in. When I saw Sandra walking down the aisle, I got uh, very emotional. And I'm lucky to have you. I am. And I love you. When Sandra saw Kevin put on the Jewish robe, the kittle, she realized how much tradition really meant to his family. So out of respect, she covered her shoulder. With a jacket that Aggie had made for her at the same time as the dress. With the ceremony a success, all that's left is for Aggie to see the venue. Hi, what Aggie. did you do? What Aggie, did you do? I tried to follow your vision. It is gorgeous. I love, I love it. it. I love the red carpet. I love the paparazzi. I love the setup. My mom came through, man. Yeah. Yeah, I was so, totally surprised at what Shirley Ann did. I thought she did a great job. And I totally felt my mom's vision was interplayed in it. It was fun. Hollywood, was Hollywood baby. <laughs> Shirley Ann squeezed in a few of her ideas like the chuppah and the religious ceremony, but that's okay, I loved it. I loved everything about it. We would first of all really, really like to thank our moms. They've done an amazing job for us. Thank you, moms. Thank you, momsies. Let's just celebrate. Feeling so gratified and relieved and happy. Everything finally came together. And Aggie loved it. I made the right choice putting Shirley Ann in charge. In the end, she totally delivered. She helped me pull together this wedding, and the bride and groom are in there dancing, having a ball. It's a party. It's Hollywood. It's the best wedding. <laughs> The food turned out wonderful, and everybody's dancing and having a great time. I am so proud of our moms. I think yeah. we're both so proud of our moms. They did an amazing job. We have one very conservative Jewish family and one less traditional family. And I feel like in the end, they both came together, and everyone is finally one family. I like Aggie. I think our future's going to be great together. I don't have any doubts. Two different ways of life it is, brought together. This is to a good beginning. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs>